In this video, we're going to talk about Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer, episode 23. <laughs> well, yeah, there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a reason to celebrate for this episode, so keep on watching. I thought the end of the world was near. Hindi ko na kayo bibitinin pa. First order of business, the thumbnail. Eventually kasi, naglapan silang dalawa. Si Amamiya at si Asahina. Uh, he made it clear to the other beast types that Sharon ang dapat kumalapan kay Asahina. Eh, oh, true enough. Pero, uh, eventually, uh, he lost. Kahit naging mythic beast, kahit naging mythic beast type siya. Pero, naka! The anime took a romantic turn right there and there. <laughs> And it came uh, within the final three episodes of this uh, of this anime. So, to tell you, we better not get ahead of ourselves, guys. Right? We're now into the nitty gritty of this episode. Face intention na eh. right? Uh, the, the magic consciousness checks, uh, conscience checks. Okay, uh, sorry for my working. That was ayun nga nakaw nga ng romantic turn. Uh, by the by by the end by the end of the episode, it had a um, a fast and excruciating pacing within at least within the first two thirds of the episode. Okay lang, kasi na baba ba kaya uh, They're fighting to uh, they're they're fighting each other to stop Asahina from destroying the earth. Do I have complaints, guys? No, because the pacing was fast when it needed to be. And it was nice and slow when it needed to be. Yeah, no complaints, right? That's how you pace an episode. In as much as to not bore the viewer. You gotta slow it down uh, at one point or another. Okay? I got no complaints, guys. Again. Flow line! First gear shift here was when Amamiya told the whole truth about... Uh, about uh, about their about the dynamic between him and uh, and Asahina. That's when this episode uh, became human. Okay, uh, it showed its it showed uh, it showed the uh, it showed its humanity. He talks of gearship at all. That's why I call it the gearship guys. Second gearship was when if it weren't for uh, if it weren't for the thumbnail, this would have been the highlight of the episode. Amamiya becomes a mythic beast knight. That's a no-brainer, guys. Because right there and then, character development for the main, uh, for the main contact. Final gear shift was when Anima made the other beast knights decide. For me, that's a no-brainer. Why? Because and dami yung ibig sabihin ni Anima dun eh. Ang dami yung ibig sabihin din dun. Talagang, she let the other beast knights decide kung tutulungan nila si Amamiya in stopping Asahina. And besides, this gear shift triggered the series of events leading to the final scene. Especially our thumbnail. For me, that's, that's a very crucial gear shift. Dahil, uh, medyo nakialam na si Anima. So these three gear shifts that I saw, guys, um, Bitin, pag ito lang pinanood nyo. Watch the entire episode. Alright? After all, gear shifts can only, uh, can only tell you, uh, the complex, the current complexion of, uh, of the, of the episode. It doesn't tell the entire story. Plot lies. Maraming flashback sequences eh. Kaya, Planchado ang plot, guys. I couldn't deny the fact that there uh, there were a lot of flashback sequences here. Pero hindi yun eh. Uh, not one of them was uh, was uh, was ill timed. Okay, maganda ang pasok, maganda rin ang labas ng bawat flashback sequence. So just tells me one thing: this episode plot was well ironed out. Kumbaga, 
hindi na disturb yung current continuity ng episode which is the uh, which is the um, the long battle uh, the long power struggle between uh, between Asahina and the Beast Knights and uh, of course the anima caught in between so on Iron Dog Block no complaints so face flow and plot they, they all simply came together for this uh, uh, for this penultimate episode folks talagang this anime has come a long way from uh, from, uh, from the first half of its run alright talagang it's gonna end uh, it's gonna end really nicely this episode is a great setup for the finale and for all you uh, romance anime antics out there you should probably uh, you should probably watch the final finale of this anime magulat kayo so, Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer, episode 23. Yeah, deserves. It is such a shame that I'm not, uh, that I won't be able to uh, to review the finale next week because uh, I'm telling you guys, right now, uh, the critics have will be taking a break for, for Christmas, of course, because hey, uh, on the 2425 on, uh, on production on production for week 120 so week 121 pala or 119 uh, I'm not sure but so yeah we will be back uh we will be back we will we will start production again for uh, for the next set for yeah it's, it's finale week okay, right now right after Christmas it's finale week now and we're going to announce the 2022 lifestyle 10 Otaku 5 the uh the now uh the, the recrescent Oji-san Excellence Award and we're going to introduce a, a new animal lineup called the Accidental 10 so watch out for that guys all right that'll be next that'll be two weeks from now so panoorin nyo lang finale and leave a comment right here on uh on on your feelings about it okay so in the meantime watch the next review